welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new here, this is a very random video to start on and I am sorry. This is hopefully just a little coffee chat. There's a lot that's been going on. I missed last week's upload. So I wanted to sit down, chat with you guys. I'm finally feeling a little bit better today. If you do not recognize my face, my name is Sarah and this channel is Sarah Refined. I hope you enjoy learning about books and finances and self-improvement. That's kind of what we talk about here. I think there's going to be some more vlogs being uploaded as well, so subscribe if you like that kind of stuff. The first thing I wanted to talk about was why I missed last week's upload and if you follow me on Instagram you might be able to put that together already. So first started back at the end of March I had really bad tooth pain and then it turned into an infection in my wisdom teeth and I've been told by every dentist and surgeon for the last six years to I need to get them out. So eventually I this time I was just like I literally can't even open my mouth to brush my teeth never mind eat. So I called my surgeon and and they were like, you should have been here a year ago when we first talked about this. So I went in last Thursday on April 9th for my wisdom teeth extraction. They put a mask on me, I was out, I don't remember a single thing about it. Yesterday was the first time I actually started feeling better and even then I've been getting headaches every day around noon because I stopped taking my pain meds but that's like a whole different story. I had my wisdom teeth pulled out and basically slept for four days after that. So I had my surgery at 2.45 or 2.30 on April 9th, got home, passed right out because because of pain medication and everything. Woke up around two in the morning to a text from my mom saying that my grandma had passed away. It wasn't that it was not expected. We definitely knew this was coming because she has had so many health issues. So that is a huge piece to me is that she's no longer in pain, but of course I'm not grieving for her. I'm grieving for my loss. So the other day when I sat down to film my video, I just also, I was reading an email before I started filming and someone sent their condolences for her passing and I just started crying. And so I feel like my grieving process has just started because the first few days of it, I was a complete like disaster of sleeping the whole time essentially. So then the third thing that's been a really kind of creating a heaviness around me is entire uncertainty about income and job and all of that. And yesterday we had a team meeting over Zoom and our boss was very open with us that we probably aren't gonna go back to work until July at the earliest and that's being very optimistic. He's expecting more like August or September. And I've always been a very independent person. Like I have I went through school and did not ask my parents for a cent. I've always felt a very big responsibility for providing for my siblings and that is my own thing. Nobody's pushed that on me. But this is the first time since I was 13 that I have not had an income, like a regular income. This is a very weird situation for me because especially with this channel, I wanted to show investing, but I don't have an income to invest with right now. I wanted to show building your emergency fund. I'm living off of mine and it's draining quickly. <laughs> I'm a massage therapist if you didn't know that. So my job is gonna be probably one of the last to get reinstated. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed, I guess, and also underwhelmed. <laughs> Even with this channel, yeah, I don't really know what direction I want to take it right now. I think I'm sort of getting that back, but it's taking a while to get there. I'm just being critical of myself and forgetting that I can add value, whether that's an entertainment or maybe providing distraction for somebody, or maybe I just, somebody can relate to me. But on that note, this is kind of what I've been doing since I haven't been filming or writing or putting any energy towards this, this channel or my life right now. The first thing that I've been trying to do more of is read, which honestly is going very slow, which is shocking. I am normally a very fast reader, but I have a whole bunch of books from the library that don't need to go back anytime soon because it's closed. So the first one is How to Think Like a Roman Emperor, The Stoic Philosophy of Marcus Aurelius. And I, I'm really enjoying that one. I really do like the stoic mindset and it's something that I've been developing over the last few years. I actually, there's a video I made about email lists that are great to be subscribed to and The Daily Stoic is one of them. I'll link it up here and you can check it out if you would like after this video. The other video is Talk Like Ted and this video is this video. This book is really great for learning how to tell a story. I'm really happy that I've got the time to read this because it was kind of sitting on the back of my library list and then I finally got it and yeah it's just talking about how you can talk about anything if you have a story which I don't think I often am good at storytelling. I've had like I mentioned in previous videos I've had a lot of blogs and I can write a good story but talking about it I kind of get rambly. 
it's hard to edit your thoughts as you're thinking them. So I'm really enjoying this book. I've been writing notes on it and all of that. And then for my fiction book right now, I got this one at Goodwill and it's called Seduction Becomes Her. And it's so dumb. I really hate it, but I'm gonna finish it because I hate not finishing a book. TV series, anything, it doesn't matter. I can just like totally detest this entire thing and I'll finish it because I just hate leaving things unfinished. It's so stupid. It's not worth my time. The whole trope of this book is like forced together and she gets trapped in a cave and the guy goes down to save her and like there's her brother and everyone up above the cave who's like trying to dig them out because there's a second rock slide of course after he gets in there and they're trapped there for two nights and then once she's out of the cave they're like oh well we can't prove that you didn't have sex so guess you guys have to get married or her reputation is tarnished i'm only a few chapters into it because like you said it's a very hard book to finish other than those books <laughs> which i haven't been reading all that much i've been watching a lot of youtube i have been binge watching three specific channels or the first one's not one channel in particular it's the anti-mlm group i am not like super vocal against mlms but i don't love them i love a lot of the people in them but the whole system of them is very very toxic for certain points i have a like some family drama going on right now that I'm not gonna get into. It's all because of MLMs. The other two, I've been binge watching Kelly Stamps. She's hilarious. She's been making some very good videos or has made some very good videos on YouTube situations and like editing, music, personality, and yeah, I really like her stuff. It's just kind of, I can't put my finger on it, but she's got something going and I really like her. I'll link, I'll, like, I'll link her channel down below and then the other channel is Isabel Page because she has given me so much peace <laughs> just watching her videos vegan, she lives off grid right now and works on a co-op. One of my favorite things about her videos is the music she uses. And she had a video a couple of weeks ago or last week where she took a little hike and she had this backpack on and I was like, what is in that thing? Like it's a very weird shape. It looks like she's carrying a walk, but she's not gonna be stir frying anything at the top of this mountain. So like what is going on? She gets to the top of the mountain, sits down and pulls out the, I guess it's called a hang drum or a hand drum, hang drum. And her song that she played was just amazing. It made me feel so energized and so like, I don't even know the right words. But because of that video, I went on Spotify and found an entire hand drum playlist and I've been listening to it so much. I really wanna get one now and I wanna learn how to play it because it takes up way less space than a piano and it is beautiful. I highly recommend if you are feeling stressed or you are feeling like you're stuck in a city, especially if you live in an apartment. I mean, you might feel a bit jealous because she's literally like walking through creeks and washing her clothes in a bucket from a well. <sighs> It just reminds me of my life. Not that I've ever washed my clothes in a bucket, but I highly recommend that channel. Besides that, when I'm listening to my hand drum playlist, I am painting my bedroom. My husband and I decided that we are, well, I decided we were going to redo our bedroom. So I do, I'm trying to film as much clips of it as I can and hopefully put up like a little bedroom makeover video eventually. It's just taking a very long time. I wanted the whole bedroom to be done last week, but then with the surgery, I was completely out of commission for a while. So one of the hardest things right now is that we want to put decorative molding on the wall and I have never done it before <laughs> so yeah we're gonna see how that works hopefully the bedroom will be finished this week and hopefully you guys get a little video of it because I think it's gonna be very cool and then the last couple of weeks I haven't really been on my exercise routine I haven't been meditating I haven't been doing any of that and right now I really want to be going out for runs but I can't until this is kind of all healed completely so I think next week I'll give it another seven days or so my friend is a dental assistant and that's what she suggested and I'm gonna just trust her. She's got more experience in this field than I do. So hopefully I can start running again. Another random thing I've been doing is, I think this was like two days ago, three days ago, I downloaded a game called Township. And I don't love like video games, but I love, I guess this is sort of a video game. It's just on my phone, but like Farmville, Sims, Roller Coaster Tycoon, or whatever they're called. Those things are so fun to me, where you just build and you get to see the progress and you're like got little challenges challenges you need to do. I love those so much. Too much. In three days, I'm at level 16. You have to play quite a bit to get to that level that fast. So I've been trying to not play nearly as much anymore um, today. Today is the first day I've practiced some self-control. It's very fun if you want a bit of a distraction from everything else going on and you'd like to see people walking in the streets and cars driving and travel. Yeah, you can travel and visit other people. So that's great. <laughs>
Now I'm gonna start closing this video up here. Going forward here, I'm not sure what my schedule is gonna look like with uploading. It might still, it's probably gonna still be once a week. It just might not be on the same day every week. In a couple of weeks, or next week maybe, I might go up north to help my mom with my grandma's stuff. I know she is safe and healthy. I am safe and healthy. I've not left my house for since March 14th, essentially. And so I don't feel like any of us are gonna be compromising anything by doing that. So I might go up north, help my mom with my grandma's stuff for a few days, and then go further up north to my hometown and live on my family's farm for a few days and visit my younger sister. And yeah, I haven't gotten to be on the farm in springtime in a very long time. That would make me feel so happy and so whole. We'll see what happens with that. If I'm a little bit MIA, Please forgive me right now. I'm, I'm just trying to sort things through as life throws everything at once. So anyway, that's me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this far. If you have made it, I really appreciate it. And I would love if you'd give this video a thumbs up. How are you doing? Are you finding that this whole situation is starting to hit you the longer it goes on? Like I'm finding that at first I was really good. I was like, I'll take a couple weeks, it's gonna be fine. But now that I'm realizing I might have all summer of being unemployed and being in this house and not knowing like what the summer even holds, I'm definitely starting to feel very heavy and like my heart is just so tight. And I know that's not just because of the situation with the world, it's also with my family and multiple reasons, but how are you doing with it? I would love to hear your thoughts. Please leave them down below or you can DM me on Instagram and we can chat about it. Other than that, I don't think I have much else to say. I will see you in my next video.